This is the MT Predictor Weekly Market Update for November 24th. So uh, just a quick update tonight. We'll go through as much as we can uh, quickly here. I've got some uh, company a little in, uh, or in a little early for Thanksgiving. So let's take a look at the S&P. You notice that we did uh, hit that target that uh, I was looking for, that 1800. Uh, closed Friday, 1801.25 on the uh, December contract of the ES. And so the futures confirming what the cash had already said earlier. Uh, in the week. Let's take a decision point off of this last major swing high in the S&P and you can see we're right in the uh, weekly decision point resistance area here. This is a major level of resistance and we've just tagged 1800. So uh, again I felt that they were going to go for those nice round numbers. If we check the Dow you'll see uh, let me switch over to the Dow here on the weekly chart. You can see the Dow hit 16,000 here again on the December contract. Here is the last prominent swing high. We'll take a decision point off of this level and you can see we're solidly in major decision point resistance. So those numbers have been uh, tagged and so at this point now I would be uh, looking more for a correction uh, we may continue to power, th power through this. Uh, you know, we've got room to the upside, at least in the Dow here, around 16,400. So there's still, uh, you know, a few days of, of uh, more room to the upside, and it's still in a major resistance level. But now that those nice round numbers have been tagged, uh, we could get a correction at any point. Um, let's go from here to. Um, let's just check gold and silver here start with silver. This has gotten a nice uh, move down. I want to expand this because we were looking for, again, here was our, our wave four. This is where any short trades would be initiated here. We project wave five down using the tools and the software here. And uh, you'll see silver is you know, beginning to progress nicely toward the target here. Here's the minimum wave five target. And uh, just put the risk reward on here. All right. And so again, stops can be to break even. Now we've achieved the 100% initial risk line uh, last week for the uh, first time. And so stops in this trade uh, can be moved. So you cannot lose on the trade and uh, if it does fall through there again we should get a test uh, of the low and you've got overlapping kind of support here in the wave five with the weekly decision point support there as well and then gold of course also uh, got some rollover oops that's the uh, wrong contract here And let's just project the wave five down here. And there's the minimum wave five target sits around 1160, 1168. And some may be short this from the uh, weekly chart, some may be from the daily chart. We can look at that in a second. Uh, but again, the 100% initial risk line has already been achieved there. The stops can be to break even. And then uh, if you're short the daily chart. The daily chart, we had a little buy signal coming in here. Uh, STF is red, so it's not a standard trade setup. It's just uh, we've made a new swing low, took out this prior uh, swing low here. So we've come into some support. The software sees that. There's a little bit of divergence in there as well. So if you're short, this was just a standard short trade setup that the software gave with the STF here. The trend indicator was red. All right, some of you, again, took some profit maybe in here. Some maybe in here. Uh, some of you may be uh, looking to take profit if this, if this uh, trade hits the entry there, which if we look would be at 1248.40. Uh, then maybe you... Uh, take a stop on the short trade which would give you let's see the uh, risk reward there about almost eight times your initial risk all right the the full target on this again you can 
certainly be protected and should be have your your stop to break even. But you see the uh, the big target down here around 11.48. So if they take this level out here, then there's a good shot that we'll get to this target. All right, but at this point we should anticipate that we may get a little bit of a rally. We did have some uh, high volume spike. It came in here followed by our blue buyers candle so it's telling us that maybe some professional buying stepping in here all right so uh you could also trail with the tra the trailing stop the atr trailing stop which would be around uh call it 1298 all right and then uh, finally just to kind of wrap this up uh to review the uh option candidates here uh deer uh, here's the daily chart of deer this one is finally in positive territory now um, from the uh, official entry date some of you purchased uh, your options on a pullback here um, and so you are in nice uh, profit but even if you purchased on uh, October 22nd which was the start date where we anticipate this thing to trend into December it's up um, uh, for the first time now this week it closed up uh, about a quarter percent the uh let's see uh well let's look at us steel was the uh, last one that we added this one uh again went wave five up so we did anticipate this one uh will give back some uh, profit there but this one is uh still up about almost six percent uh from the its start date which was october 30th that was the last one that we added um Nike was just an honorable mention, and I'll just say that's up 4%. Costco is the other one, and that one's up uh, very nicely, uh, about 8%. Uh, Equifax also up. I think that's a new high, closed at a new high this week. Uh, let's see. And you can see, uh, you know, we were in this decision point. We're anticipating we could get some correction there. It took that level out. We're in the typical Wave 5 target now. You've got some strength on the STF. And so, uh, depending on where you sit with that one, again, this still has another month to go uh, before the uh, the trend weakens. But this is up uh, over 10% now from its start date. And that start date was uh, October 22nd, and it uh, runs through December 18th when that trend uh, will probably come to an end. Uh, let's look at ETN. I think I've got that one up here. All right, testing that DP level here, which uh, we were looking at last week. So it is in that level, and that's a new high for that. Uh, so that's up almost 7% now from its start date, October 23rd. And GPC, Genuine Parts. All right, made the move through that DP. It's got a little pullback into this level and uh, closed uh, had a couple of updates there. Um, Thursday and Friday and this one is up now about uh, just under 5% so it's uh, hanging in there just off its highs uh, uh, of the move here and so all these are in pretty good shape now uh, let's see did I miss any uh, oh, ETN Eaton did we cover Eaton yeah we did we covered Eaton okay I think I got, I got them all there so um, pretty good week. Again, the Dow, S&P tagged those big numbers that we've been waiting for a while. And so just protect any longs that you have because the market is certainly due for, for some corrective action. And that may, you know, be a couple weeks of corrective action. Um, as long as these interest, may, uh, interest rates remain low, uh, the next uh, anticipated Fed chairman uh, says she will, Janet Yellen, uh, is very dovish. And uh, she plans to continue the uh, QE. Um, so that low interest rates, we should see continue to see an, uh, an up market overall. All right, so we'll leave it there. We'll be back. Um, uh, I've got to check and see if we got the holiday coming in on Thursday. So I'll see about uh, if we're going to have a market update next week. If not, we'll, we'll come back and do it the following week there. So protect the longs. And we'll be back. Uh, enjoy the holiday. 
and the Thanksgiving holiday uh, here in the U.S. And we'll see you back next week or the, or the following week.